Hey everyone, it's Mateo from Prophecy Chocolate and I'm here to share something that I love which is these macambo beans and the macambo is a cousin of cacao it's called Theobroma bicolor in Latin it's also known as macambo majambo in Peru in Central America they call it pataste some people even call it jaguar cacao and it's a beautiful beautiful plant it grows a little bit taller than cacao with larger pods and these beautiful white seeds that tend to have less bitterness definitely quite a lot less bitterness and and more nuttiness than cacao so at prophecy chocolate we work with a couple macambo farmers uh, most notably Aili Quinteros who has a she has a project in northern Peru near Tarapoto um, called Mishki and so she has been farming and working with macambo as an alternative uh, plant and really have had has had a lot of success so we work directly with her buy the macambo beans, import them to the states, roast them, and you can eat them as a snack. And we also grind them, just like we do the cacao, into um, kind of bricks of pure macambo. So this is pure macambo. There's a little bit of cocoa butter to help the machines out because these have quite a bit less butter in it. So a little bit of cocoa butter and macambo as well. So these are used mostly to make drinks. Throughout Central America, they would use the patashte to make drinks and usually combine it with the cacao as well. Today, we're gonna make a uh, matcha combo. <laughs> so we're gonna add matcha with the macambo. And since the macambo has such a rich, kind of nutty, milky texture and flavor, it's gonna pair really nicely with the, ma with the matcha. So we're gonna take you through how we're gonna do that. First of all, we have this same macambo that we melted down. So we have a little bit of melted macambo and we're gonna pour it into these milk pitchers. So we're gonna make three cups today. Usually, like I've said before, I don't really measure anything out. I kinda just go by feel. Um, if you wanted to measure things out, you could have maybe about an ounce, probably about an ounce or maybe around 30 grams of macambo per person, per serving. Um, but I'm kind of just doing it by eye. After having done it quite a bit, I kind of get a sense. So to the macambo, we're gonna add a little bit of matcha. We got some really beautiful, nice organic matcha powder from, uh, from a tea importer um, who's bringing it in from Japan, from farmers that she works directly with there. So you can see really nice. Um, so we'll go with about three scoops of that. I've heard that maybe it's about a gram to two grams of, of matcha per serving. But again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it, which is what I like to do. So with that, then we're gonna mix that up. So we have this white macambo and it's just gonna become beautiful green color. once it's all mixed up. And the macambo, the light color of the macambo provides such a beautiful palette for any color. So you can really see the, ma the matcha is just shining right through there. And that color is just beautiful. So that looks pretty good to me. And now what we're gonna wanna do is mix this with water. So not super hot water, um, not quite boiling, but you know, still pretty steaming. And so we're gonna add a little bit of water to the matcha and the macambo. Not all of the water yet, and then we're gonna mix it. And now, so we're doing the process of emulsification. So we're emulsifying all the cocoa butter and the macambo butter, the natural fat in the macambo, in with the water. So it just kind of becomes one pure, beautiful, silky smooth beverage. Now, that looks pretty good. I kind of like the macambo and the matcha a little bit thick. So I'm not gonna add a lot more water, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. That should be about good. And then, the matcha is really good. Also froth, so we're gonna do that traditional style of frothing where you pour from one vessel to another. 
And there's all sorts of different ways to froth. People have even kind of matcha frothing, little latte frothers. People sometimes even put it in their smoothie blenders. This is kind of the, the style that you'll see in a lot of the old paintings and the kind of codices of Central America that they'll show women, mostly women, pouring beverages from one vessel to the other. And the more you aerate it and the more it hits the base of the vessel and into the drink, it's going to create that really nice rich froth. Sometimes you even got to stand up to do it properly. <laughs> so you can see we already got those bubbles forming. We'll just froth it maybe once or twice more and then we're ready to serve. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So let's fill up these cups. Get a nice, rich, frothy macambo matcha. Matcha combo, I like to call it. <laughs> and there you have it. So, if you want, there's always the option to add a little bit of maple syrup or some sort of sweetener. I like it just pure straight up and um, have you ever had Macambo Matcha? If you have, let me know what you think. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That's good. <laughs> That's really good.